Hello everyone and welcome to the Red Door Yoga Mini Sutra Series online. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. I wanted to talk today about anger. Anger is a secondary emotion. Um, and what I mean by that is that, you know, you don't, you don't just get angry. There's always an emotion that comes before anger, an emotion that anger is effectively covering up. Uh, and what actually happens is there is the initial emotion and the initial emotion that you feel usually creates a sense of depletion, energetic depletion in you. So, you know, that, that uh, initial emotion might be, you know, fear, embarrassment, uh, whatever it is. And then because that emotion creates a sense of, of powerlessness, it drains the energy from you, then you get angry because in a state of anger, you feel a surge of power. And so the, the anger is just a way of trying to overcompensate for the sense of powerlessness that comes with the first emotion. Now, the truth of it is that the first emotion that is occurring, first of all, needs to be uh, addressed, needs to be noticed and addressed, but it, the truth of it is, is that it's not real. Okay, that emotional response you're having, the, the fear that you're ha experiencing, the embarrassment that you're experiencing, the, the jealousy, whatever it is that the initial emotion is, it's not real. Like you, you don't actually truly become powerless. You think you're powerless as you're experiencing that emotional surge that's going through you, um, but you're not. Okay, and so if you can recognize that the idea of powerlessness is not actually true, then there is no need to overcompensate and go seeking out anger. Okay, so if you want to deal with your anger, it becomes really important first, as I mentioned, to identify what the initial emotion was, what the thing you're hiding from is, what the thing you feel you need to overcompensate for is. And once you can find that emotion, the other thing that you need to do is, first of all, be willing to feel it, knowing that it doesn't actually make you powerless. Be willing to feel afraid, be willing to feel embarrassed, be willing to feel jealous, whatever the emotion is. And so when you're willing to feel it, the emotion itself, first of all, passes very quickly. It processes and passes very quickly, but you also see through it. You see through the story of its power and your powerlessness in the face of it. So, you know, there's a, there's a wise little green guy named Yoda who, who said that fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, and hate leads to suffering. And effectively, what he's saying is anger is secondary. It's not the real issue. In this case, he's saying fear is the, the issue. And whether it was the other ones that I mentioned, embarrassment, etc., it actually does boil down to fear. Because embarrassment is fear that you're not lovable, that you're not worthy. Okay? All of the emotions that seem to deplete you, they all actually boil down to fear. So be willing to feel fear, and you'll deal with anger. I hope this was helpful, everyone. Please, you know, comment on the post. If you've got questions, I'd love to hear them. Please like, please share the post. Um, if you are interested in learning how to apply this philosophy more and, the, and looking for kind of uh, support with this, then please do join us on the RDY Self Mastery Group, and that is attached to the Red Door Yoga Facebook page. I look forward to seeing you again online, everyone. Have a lovely rest of your day, wherever and whenever you are. Namaste.